Hi everybody, it's Lasha from High Voltage. This is part um, three of Ask Not the Girls, okay? And I honestly, I just really want to jump right into it. Um, it is 12 o'clock and today is August the uh, 25th of 2024 and it's Sunday. And I was supposed to go to church today and do you know what? I woke up at 9.07 because I went to bed a little later last night. And ah, I didn't go. And I am really upset with myself that I didn't follow through on that particular goal of mine. So next Sunday, I'll let you know if I go. So this is Ask Not by Maureen Callahan, and I'm just picking up where I left off. I just need to get settled. I'm sorry if you don't live in Canada and you can't have um, marijuana. Marijuana? Okay, at any weight. At any weight. At any weight. <clears throat> All right. Ouch. Okay. Where did I leave off? Okay, Mimi didn't know about Diana, but she quickly realized that Jill Cohen and Priscilla Ware, his frequent playmates in the White House pool, were also among his favorite young female staffers. Nor was Mimi the only young woman to administer one of his daily scalp massages. I remember this rubbing um, ointments and conditioner into his thick brown hair before his press conferences, senior male staff often walking in on them, trying to act as though this was all perfectly normal. A teenage, a teen, oh wait, this is all perfectly normal. A teenage what does that mean, a teenage would-be typist? Oh, a teenage would-be typist forming such intimate caregiving. Yeah, a little odd, eh? Kind of like the evil jackal. That's just my opinion. What is it? God, thank you for everything and thank you for me not being born into this type of wealth. I, I am so, I am actually grateful. The single clue that JFK lived here was his small personal library books on economics and history mixed in with Lolita. All right, I read all of that. Here we are. White House away. Maybe they had an understanding, she told herself. After all, the Secret Service agents never blanched. Maybe everyone saw how good Mimi was for the president, how she helped him relax at the end of a day of a hard day's work, how she only ever sought to please him, how she was demanding nothing in return. What a good girl. You make things so easy for me, Mimi, because things have been so hard. And then Jackie. I would be the happiest girl in the world to marry Jack. Yeah, lucky you. Poor Jackie, she is the heroine of this story. And I love the Jackies in the 80s. That's the Jackie that I love. Okay, so other times, Dave would leave Mimi upstairs alone. Dave really trusted her. Now, this is one of, don't forget, Dave is one of JFK's, you know, senior advisors of some sort. Whatever that is. You know, I could call myself an executive cleaner. What does that even mean? The president, it turned out, was compulsive about showering, sometimes up to five times a day. He changed his dress shirts as frequently, if not more. 
it never occurred to him or to Mimi that this was something other than hygiene, obsessive compulsive disorder never crossed her mind. That's because he was floundering around all the time. He was an SEX machine. After bath time, they would go into the kitchen and dine on whatever his staff had stocked up in the fridge, leftover beef sandwiches, shrimp, chicken. Are you kidding me? And then people starving and he couldn't decide whether to stay too much with civil rights or not. And he, you know, they didn't even like Martin Luther King and they didn't like Malcolm X and they were assassinated. Does anybody talk about that and why? God, that makes me mad. Well, I know there have been, but now more than ever, why am I screaming? Who is she to complain? This makes me so mad. Diana would find herself in the White House, too, in due time, but in 1960, as Jack Ken Kennedy ran for president, he began to promote her. It was surreal to see this man who had seduced her in this tiny apartment on TV and magazine covers, photos of him at a campaign event with gorgeous actresses. What if he ever forgot about her? But then he would call, and it was like Diana had been plugged back into a wall socket. The, her adrenaline soaring, that's soaring, that's why I was getting so worked up. Her adrenaline, I, I actually didn't know I was going to say this, her adrenaline was soaring. The future president of the United States could it get more glamorous so that night dressed up makeup diana took the elevator to the 34th floor and knocked on jfk's door he swung it open and hugged her want more for herself than to be present wait 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 he pulled her in oh i get it okay she didn't want to be just the president's plaything, okay? Nothing will come of it, Diana told him, but he has a hold on me. She was hardly the only woman he had a hold on. There was Pamela Turner, Jackie's newly acquainted press secretary, Judith Campbell Exner, who had been involved with Frank Sinatra and mob boss Sam, uh, yeah, Sam, yeah, I'm not saying it. And Helen, first cousin to Jackie's spurred fiance, John Hudson. Remember she was dating John Hudson and she thought it would be a cleaner break to give him the ring back because marrying Jack would be the most, bring me the happiest girl in the world. Why do they refer to themselves as girls? And then of course, there was Marilyn Monroe whose ongoing affair with Jack ba dated back to 1955. That was supposed to be a secret too. Now, we're finally at Marilyn Monroe. I did it, we did it. Thank you for hanging with me. It's so gorgeous today. I'm abandoning ship and I'm going swimming. And you know what? I wanna tell you something. I told you I wanted to talk to you all about something. Now, the Kennedy stuff is all there, okay? Um, I have to do my hair and do my makeup and everything. Um, also, I just wanted to say, yes, I just, this is better. I just wanted to say the reason that I'm so passionate about the transgender movement as a deactivist, I guess, is it's humorin, humorin, it's humorin. Yes, it's humorin. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? I suffered from the disease, body dysmorphia, they used to call it, anorexia. Because I wanted to be a girl, I didn't want to grow up. I know that now. 
but I didn't then. And you know what they used to teach parents to do back in the 80s? Don't say anything about food. And it worked. Getting pressured to be perfect can be a detriment to you. Just like there's different competencies in work. Customer service, you can be great at, but then you can also bombard people. So that's an overuse of the competency. And I learned all of this when I worked at Jenny Craig. And that job in town, I want so bad. So not only do I have to go fix myself up for that and go swimming, I need to, oh, well, I took my Jenny Craig portfolio and I actually in pencil wrote down all of the experience I had in retail and I just scooted over there. And that's how I mangled my foot yesterday. But guess what? I'm telling you, that scooter has taught me so many lessons. And do you know why I fell? I'll show you why I keep falling off that scooter. So I want to get the job. The anorexia, I had to have two blood transfusions. And then I decided to eat again. Ow, I just scraped my hand. Do you know what? I'm in like an accident waiting to happen all the time. Not all the time, but my baba was clumsy too. So my scooter, it goes 41 miles an hour. You see these pedals? These pedals, I went to turn the corner and the pedal, like I leaned over like a normal bike and the pedal is what caused me to, to for the bike to fall on me. Could you believe that? So now I don't go anywhere without the, um, um, without this. And this is the truth. This is what I wear when I go on my scooter. I've got um, knee pads. I've got my Hush Puppy leather boots. Remember these random citizen, right? I have my my fanny pack and my my helmet and I really will not go anywhere without it. Yeah, this hairdo needs to change, but I'm going to start reading the bombshell. If I'm smart, I'll do it tonight, but I need to go get that job and I want to enjoy the sun. I really do. And as soon as I'm back, I will, okay? Bye, and this is High Voltage. I'm Lasha Rajanko, and uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much. Bye.